this morning with details. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. As these outages enter a fourth day, the hospital has set up a call center that is so parents at least have some way of communicating with their children's doctors. While the hospital says is trying to resolve this issue as quickly and effectively as possible, cybersecurity experts say it could take a long time to fully recover from such an attack. Lori is dealing with what it described as a cybersecurity matter. It has not confirmed whether this was a random ransomware attack. The phone and email systems and the MyChart platform went down Wednesday morning. The outages continue affecting the main hospital downtown, Lori's primary care officers and offices rather, and outpatient centers. Parents have not been able to reach their children's doctors, book appointments. Some families have shown up at the hospital only to learn that their appointments had been canceled. Others told us of long wait times because the staff has to use pen and paper, do things the old school way, and retrieve records by hand. We've also met parents who came straight to the ER hoping to see a doctor. Hospitals have become popular targets of hackers because healthcare information is more valuable than credit information. Experts say hospitals have backups of their data, but it could be months before things return to normal. And, and to also ascertain whether the attackers still have prevalence over the environment, which means that are they still in the environment able to um, re-attack uh, once the operations have been brought back up online. Now here is the number for the call center, 800-543-7362, uh, 8 to 8 Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 today, and 8 to noon on Sunday. This is for non-urgent questions, information about scheduled appointments, and prescription refills. Now the hospital warns that it could uh, take a couple of tries to get through because of the number of calls anticipated. You could also get updates on the situation on Lori Children's Hospital's social media pages. Outside Lori Children's Hospital, downtown Judy Wang, WGN News. Okay, Judy.